Now looking back over my life, I realize that in many ways I've always been a counselor. I remember in uh, elementary school when my peers were bullied, they'd come to me. I think the essence that draws people into counseling is the sense of wanting to grow personally and wanting to help other people grow in, in their lives. You know, growing up as a brown boy in the 70s and 80s in Vancouver, where, which was the, the height of uh, racial discrimination against East Indians, was challenging. I remember being bullied by a teacher. He gave the class an essay question to write on, and the question was what I want to do when I grow up. I wrote an essay about you know, playing hockey in the NHL one day. It was a fantasy, it was not going to be a reality. And being a doctor. I remember him handing back my paper and saying in a loud voice so every student would hear this. He goes, and some students have such high expectations that they know they will never, ever achieve. He wasn't talking about me playing hockey. You know, it sounds like a cliche, but it hit me. They were all equal. And I found myself being gravitated towards building bridges between people of different cultures. That's one of my specialties, is um, cross-cultural romantic relationships. 19% of all singles dating were in cross-cultural relationships, but when it came to marriage, only 3% of all marriages was cross-cultural. So I started exploring, researching, and I started offering myself as a cross-cultural romantic therapist. You take the best of both cultures, the Eastern cultures, the Western cultures, and combine them into your romantic relationship and raise your children in that way. That type of thinking is taught at Stanford College in this, in this counseling diploma program. I would equate this to a master's program in counseling therapy. It has a personal touch. It becomes counseling as well individual counseling one-on-one, -on -one, as well as group counseling as a group. I think it's an obligation that every instructor has to commit to the students. I think one of the key things that I've committed to is giving them myself. I was diagnosed with a very rare and uh, aggressive form of lymphoma. I told them, you know, um, what I'm struggling with, what I've been diagnosed with. And then I remember one student asked me a very simple, pr profound question. She said, are you scared? The first thing that came to my mind, before my eyes, for the faces of my daughters. I do not want them to live their life and face the adversities out there without a father to guide them. I shared that with the class. If you have a passion for growth and have a passion in helping another person grow. That's the greatest reason to go into this program. And as an instructor, it's so wonderful to see the growth in your students. I shared with one of them and I said, you know, when you started, you were my student. And it's just a matter of a couple of months before you become my colleague. And I felt so proud saying that for the student. People who take this program are the ones who really want to help, help their fellow human being. When I go home at the end of my day, I sleep well knowing that I've made a difference in someone's life.